What's going on guys? Matt Davis with Final Rise here. Wanted to make what hopefully will be as short and concise as possible of a video and give you guys a side by side by side by side comparison and basically a meat and potatoes overview of the four vests that we currently offer here in 2023. That includes the Summit XT, the Summit, the Legacy, as well as the Sidekick. We're gonna hop in with the Summit XT. We're gonna hop through all the different features and point out some of the primary differences and X factors of this vest versus the others. And we'll talk about some of the details of those obviously as we progress through this video. The first thing to call out on all of our full-size vests, which includes the Summit XT, the Summit, and the Legacy, all of these vests have the ability to transport an injured dog out of the field. That was really one of the innovations that Final Rise pioneered back in 2020, I believe, when we first started making vests and offering them on the market. It was something that just hadn't been done yet. If you're anything like me, the dogs are probably the very reason that you hunt and being able to take care of them is just as important to me as it is going out and having a good time in the field. So being able to load up an injured dog, which I've had to do, it's one of those things that stinks, but being able to help get them out of the field quicker, it's so much easier to load that dog on your back and be able to take all of your gear out of field out of the field in one load versus trying to just strap everything together and maybe leave some equipment behind. And the way that we accomplish that, and again, this is included on all of the full-size vests, is we have this G-hook design. So if I give this a little bit of slack and I push these through, I'm able to remove that as well as this other one and now I'm able to separate the game bag. We have some light framing on the inside of the game bag on all the full size, and this is going to allow a dog to lay on top of this. This is going to fold underneath the weight of the dog, and so it's gonna give it a nice flat surface that it can lay on. And I mentioned this when I talked to folks, no, it was not designed to just full on carry dogs. It is a bird hunting vest, but having that feature designed into that eliminates the need to be able to carry some other type of harness or animal transportation device that you might want to throw in there. So you're saving weight, you're saving money, and you're getting a lot more value out of your vest. Biggest differences between the Summit XT and the standard Summit is the fabric and the shell pockets. Everything else is essentially equal. Now this does include sewn in jacket lashes where that is an additional accessory that has to be added on to the Summit. But the meat and potato difference, this is a thousand denier fabric. On the Summit, it uses a 500 denier fabric, and then the brown and orange accents are in the thousand. But this entire vest is constructed out of thousand denier fabric. Now, denier refers to the, basically the weave, or the, excuse me, the size of the fiber that's used in the fabric itself. So thousand versus 500. Obviously, it is twice the durability. It's not twice the weight. This isn't a six pound bird vest. It's still very, very light, right around three pounds and the lightest in its class, but it is more abrasive resistant. So if you're really hard on your gear, if maybe you neglect to clean it out, different things like that, that, or you're pushing more cover, that's another thing too. Here in the West, you know, grouse hunting here is probably about as thick as it gets, but the majority of that we're pheasant hunting or we're chucker hunting. So the fabric isn't being pushed on a lot. I have five years on my previous vest, which is a summit. It's that 500 weight fabric. I've hunted almost every species in North America with it on and it's doing fantastic. You take care of it, it'll last a lifetime. But for guys that maybe neglect that, the thousand weight, uh, the thousand denier fabric is definitely worth the small upgrade in cost there. And then the shell pouches, this is a big difference as well. So this is a magnetic closure right here. You're able to just drop that down. It's going to secure in place. You can pull that back and just very simple. No look, you can flip the pocket closed. It's gonna keep everything nice and secure. We really dialed in the length of the lid to be able to ensure that it's very minimal exposure on either side of the lid. So it's gonna keep debris out. And then if you're getting in and out of your truck, it's gonna be secure enough that it's not gonna be dumping shells or different things like that. So you have the magnetic option versus the standard summit, which is a zipper and Velcro closure. One thing to point out here 
is on the bottom side of the magnet here, we do have some hook Velcro. That is to create a little bit of separation between the fabric faces because if you sandwich the two magnets together and you have that fabric, just like when you rub your hands together really quick and create that friction and dirt starts peeling off, the same thing can happen with fabric. So to protect that, we've used this Velcro piece here. And this benefit is twofold. So it's protecting and providing additional longevity into the product itself. And then if you tuck it on the inside of the shell pouch, there's actually a four inch cut of loop Velcro or female Velcro that that lid can lay to and hold it securely in place. So now the lid is fully laying flat against the inside. It's as if it was one layer of fabric to give you immediate access into there, unobstructed. If you're walking big open country, if you're hunting quail, if you're hunting pheasants, you need quick reloading, that's a great option there. The other benefit with that loop on the inside of the shell pouch is that there is the bottom two inches of it that are not covered when the lid is closed inside, and it's going to allow you to attach a modular bandolier or shell loops on the inside of that. Those are features that are unique specifically to the Summit XT shell pouch. Another difference, it has a dual zipper option versus the Summit that only has a single um, unidirectional closure. This is a big enough pouch to fit most of the smartphones on the market. I have an iPhone 13 Pro Max, I think, and it fits in there just fine. A lot of guys will leave this pouch open and just run it essentially as a drop-in pouch for their transmitter, for their alpha, or their handheld, and then they'll just tether it onto the D-ring. So keep keeps it separate from your shell pouch, um, but if you wanna carry your wallet, your keys, snacks, anything like that that you don't want in with your shells, um, you've got that additional pocket on the outside there. And then the last difference in those shell pouches is this has a webbing attachment point on the front and back. That's going to allow the shell pouch to be compatible with the transmitter pouches, the bear spray canister. You can clip a knife onto here. You can put a flashlight on there. I mean, really anything out there, you have the ability to have that very inline where it sits on the front or on the back, it's not gonna add additional width to your system. It has those things right there, and it's a module option versus a fixed closed pocket that things can fall into, it's hard to clean out. It just makes it really nice to be able to have the option if you want that pouch or not, and if you don't, that's okay. On the game bag, and these features will be the same on both the Summit and the Summit XT, you do have Molly webbing on all three sides that makes these full-size vests compatible with the additional uh, storage pockets that we offer. We have a rear accessory pouch as well as side accessory pouches. It already has three built-in zippered pouches. There's one that's accessible right here on the side that allows you access to this entire rear panel that you can see right here. Great for first aid, snacks, a short lead, anything that you wanna be able to carry there. It's keeping that weight up high on your back, which is going to minimize the amount of pressure that goes under the shoulder harness versus a very large pocket where we feel like we want to put everything that creates what we call the saggy diaper. So to combat that, we've moved that pocket up to here as well as added two zippered pouches on the side here. And the entire side of this game bag, if you can see it here, this whole thing is a pocket as well. So beyond the ability to add additional storage if you really need it, You've got a lot of organization already built into the vest, very streamlined, very minimal, and it just helps with keeping that narrow profile and keeping that weight down as well. So in a nutshell, I believe that that covers the Summit XT and its primary features. All right, now we've got the standard Summit on the table here, and I've already mentioned a lot of the primary differences, but do want to be able to show you this vest itself. This vest is using the 500 denier fabric, like I said, fantastic fabric, lighter weight, but very, 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 very durable. Similar features to the Summit XT, you're gonna have the two zippered pockets on the side. You have the angled zipper pocket here. You have the molly webbing across the back. You've got your bungee, you've got your G hooks. You've got the water bottle holders. Big difference coming to the shell pouch. This has a, what we call a three-stage shell pouch, so you can zip it all the way closed. If you want to have the zippered open, you can do so, and then obviously the Velcro is going to cover that. If you need to get into it super quick, you can grab and do that, and you can also tuck the lid down inside. Now, this one doesn't have Velcro on the inside to secure it in place. Honestly, isn't an issue for the most part. As mentioned, there is a single directional zipper. We always make sure that our zipper is close to the back of the vest. If you were pushing through brush, 
you don't want to have the brush pull your zipper open. So everything closes to the back. Now, at the end of the day, if you wanted to have your zippers open another direction, you can flip flop the pockets. It's just attached to via molly webbing on the waist belt and you can plug and play in your heart's desire, but that is the reason that there is a single directional zipper on this. Also, we have some molly webbing on the front here. We have a bandolier option or shell holder option that will attach here. There's some guys that like to tether up their their alphas or their transmitter, whatever they're running, and tuck the antenna on the inside of there just to keep it in place so it's not bouncing around. You've got a lot of different options there. Beyond the fabric class difference and the additional shell pouch differences, the dimensions are the same of the game bag, same pocket, same accessory compatibility. It is just, again, a different fabric class and the shell pouches are a little bit different as well. Two different styles to accommodate two different hopes and desires when it comes to your bird hunting wants and needs. So that would be the standard summit. Moving on down the line here, we are going to cover the Final Rise Legacy. Now the Legacy came on the scene a couple years ago now and it was really designed to meet the needs of the more minimal hunter. If you don't need a bladder, if you don't need to carry a ton of water, if you're never super far from the truck or you're coming back to swap dogs on a frequent basis, this vest is great. It's gonna allow you to stay in the field for a couple hours. If you're going on all day walks, I would consider the Summit XT or the Summit, but if you're doing shorter hunts, this is a great, great option. Primary difference you'll notice in comparing this to the Summit XT and Summit is it only has a single row of webbing right here. That means that this vest is not compatible with the additional storage pocket. So a rear accessory pocket and the side accessory pockets will not attach to this vest. That said, there are woven in locations where you can use our jacket lashes. That's one accessory. If there's one thing to buy with your vest, the jacket lashes are great because you can just loop those through here and secure and fasten an additional layer, a soft shell, insulation layer, whatever you're carrying in the field. Keep that out of your game bag. It's not gonna be covered in feathers. It's not gonna be covered in blood and just keep that clean. And it's a, it's a very secure place to be able to carry it as well. So you can cinch that up here. As mentioned, there is no molly webbing on the side of the game bag. There are these dedicated water bottle pouches. Now, if you wanted to drop other things in there, you could totally do that. You can fit one on either side of the vest and you have 64 ounces of water, which is the same uh, bottle capacity as what the other two vests option uh, offer as well. This is not bladder compatible. I did forget to mention that on the Summit XT and on the Summit, there are both vertical and lumbar bladder compatible. There's a sleeve that runs on the inside of those game bags to be able to accommodate those two different designs. This is not bladder compatible. So that for a lot of folks is kind of an X factor difference where you are limited to a bit of the water that you're able to carry. Because we use the same waist belt and the same shoulder harness, you can actually order the water bottle holders as an accessory add-on and attach those to the waist belt. As you can see here, there are Molly locations available on the waist belt itself. So you can carry water bottles on the side here. And in theory, if you wanted to have a bottle here and a bottle here, bottle there, bottle there, you could have four water bottles. So even though you're not able to carry a bladder, you still can carry quite a bit of that water weight and, uh, and carry that comfortably. And then there is a single zipper pouch. This panel right here is a zipper compartment. This shell pouch, same, same size, same dimensions. The closure is very simple. It is a classic flip top Velcro closure. This is for a more minimal hunter that doesn't carry a lot of stuff in the field, but needs to be able to carry, you know, larger birds, pheasants, sharp tail, different things like that, but maybe coming back to the truck on a more frequent basis. So if you're looking for a great lightweight option, keep you in the field, carry all the, all the essentials, you can check it out here with the Final Rides Legacy. Now the fourth and final vest that we'll cover here is our Final Rides Sidekick system created for truly minimalistic hunters, trainers, and people that don't need to carry a lot of big birds. So if you're hunting a lot of quail or your state restricts you to maybe only two roosters or a handful of sharp tail, this is a great option. I have had guys fit probably more birds in there than I thought that they could. I've personally fit three roosters in there, no problem at all. But if you're going on a big Dakota trip, this probably isn't the option for you. 
Um, but some of the things that we really wanted to resolve with this particular vest, you know, a lot of the more minimal game bags are set up as what we would consider kind of a dove belt, essentially. It's just a minimal game bag, nothing more than a pocket to be able to put your shot birds in. But knowing guys that are running those types of systems, there were a couple boxes that really weren't being checked. If you're hunting quail, you need water. So having the ability to carry ample water was something that really wasn't being addressed. You know, guys would go out, they'd have shells, they'd have a game pouch. But if you're going out, if you're running multiple dogs, if you're walking long distances, obviously that water is very crucial. So a couple of the things that we designed into the game bag, uh, first and foremost, you have the ability to open this. We've got a nice two inch buckle. It is adjustable here so you can adjust the capacity of the bag as well as cinch that down. And then on the sides of the game bag, you have additional tension points as well. So you can really scrunch everything up and really hold stuff nice and very secure. On the exterior of the game bag, we have a full size dual zipper pouch. You can fit a lot of stuff in here. Um, food, snacks, first aid, uh, light rain jacket, different things like that. You're able to do that. You do have the ability, these loops right here are for the jacket lashes that we've previously mentioned on some of the other vests. So you can secure an additional layer to the outside of this without having to chew up valuable real estate inside the game bag. As mentioned, being able to carry water is a big deal. So we built in a lumbar sleeve essentially that you can run a one and a half or two liter lumbar bladder. Uh, Osprey makes a really good option out there. I've run that on a couple of my other vests as well. So if you don't like having a bladder hanging off your back or you're running this and you need additional water beyond the 64 ounces in the water bottles, it's a, it's a really nice solution. You got the bladder for you, you've got the bottles for the dogs. And then on either side, on these small, on these small shorter sides, there are zipper compartments there. Uh, they're probably about four inches and width, great for flashlight or multi-tools, more narrow type things that you're able to stuff down in that pocket and just have a little more built-in organization. I like knowing where my stuff is if something happens and being able to get to that immediately. Really, I guess an X factor difference for guys, a lot of times when they're picking between the Legacy and the Sidekick, the Summit XT, the Summit and the Legacy are all full-size vests that have the ability to carry an injured dog out of the field by detaching the G-hooks like we've talked about. This does not have the ability to carry an injured dog in the field. If you're going on longer trips, if that's a concern, that's a decision you need to make for yourself. If I'm hunting where I'm close to the truck, I'm totally fine with a sidekick. I know that I can carry my dog a short distance. But if I'm going on an all day hunt, if I'm chucker hunting or really anything else that I'm hunting, I'm usually leaving the truck and not coming back for a while. So. That's one of the reasons that I personally run a full-size vest. Whether you're hunting or even just training, this is a great training bag, like I mentioned. That was one of the boxes that we wanted to check with this design. Bumpers, dummies, all those different things, super simple. Along the lines of being very simple and being very minimal, you can actually run the Sidekick vest without the shoulder harness. You're able to remove this rear yoke from inside the game bag and completely detach the shoulder harness. Now the other cool thing about the Sidekick and really all of our game bags is you can actually, if you are running a full size vest already, you can order just the Sidekick game bag and repurpose everything else. You'd use your same shoulder harness, waist belt, water bottle holders, and shell pouches. We'll do a separate video on how to make that conversion, but there's really a lot of different options and how you can set this up. So if you're going from hunting season where you do need a full size vest, but you're going into training season and you don't wanna you don't want to wear the harness, it's warm wherever you're at and you just need a more minimalistic approach. Again, you can buy just the game bag from our website. It will include the yoke that you'll need and you'll just repurpose the other components of that vest to be able to get a little more value out of your final rise product. Moving around to the side here, this is going to include the water bottle holders as well as the water bottles themselves. So as mentioned, when we were talking about problems that we were solving with other designs in the market, water capacity was one of the, one of the big ones. So you have the ability to carry 64 ounces here, plus another liter and a half in a lumbar bladder. You've got a lot of water and it's gonna check boxes for most of the guys out there and what they need. The shell pouch on here is more shallow. This is actually one of our side accessory pouches. And so it has a dual zipper, zipper closure, it's a clamshell style. 
you can drop the lid down in there or you can just have it setting up or just zip it closed. So very minimal, it's more than enough to be able to carry a box of shells, drop some candy bars or snacks or whatever into the other pocket and go get after it. So that really is everything about the Sidekick that you need to know. So if you have any other questions, go ahead and check it out. All these are available online at finalrise.com. You can reach out to us, support at finalrise.com. We've got a phone number on the website. We'll answer if you're called. Thanks so much for watching. We appreciate your time and consideration. God bless.